Hey, this is John Sifferman from physicalliving.com, and this is a video review of the Stamina PT1690 Power Tower, which is a freestanding pull-up bar and parallel bar dip station that I picked up for my home gym about a year ago or so. And I wanted to bring you this review today to tell you what I like, what I don't like, and ultimately help you figure out if this would be a wise investment uh, for you. So here it is. It arrived disassembled. It took me 20-30 minutes to put it together or so. Really easy to put together. If I can do it, trust me, you can do it. Um, it came with the tool required, so you don't need any tools. Um, if you have them, they'll help. I used a crescent wrench and a, a socket wrench to make it a little easier, but anybody can put this together. Um, it can be used for pull-ups, chin-ups, and all the other obvious variations of those exercises. Um, hanging knee raises, leg raises, um, parallel bar dips, um, like you'll see back here, you got the parallel bars. Got these elevated bars on the bottom here. They say you can use them for push-ups. Um, I haven't really used it for push-ups, you know, just being honest here. They even say you can use it for sit-ups, and uh, I think that's pretty silly. I don't even do sit-ups, but if I did, I definitely wouldn't use uh, something like this to, uh, to do them. Um, you'll notice that there are foam pads on all the, on all the uh, handles, you know, down here, and of course up on the pull-up bar as well. It's made out of steel, and so it's pretty sturdy. Haven't had any issues with it getting damaged or anything. Um, held together by eight of these heavy-duty bolts here that go through the sides here. And uh, like I said, it's it's solid. It's it's not going anywhere. It's a pretty uh, pretty uh, well-made piece of equipment, but it is definitely not industrial grade. This is not something that would hold up well in a in a health club where it's being used frequently every day it's just not built to those standards um, but for my home gym use for you know personal use this more than fits the bill and uh, the reason I bought this was I did a lot of research online I'm uh, just trying to find a good deal for what I wanted I wanted what what I specifically wanted was a freestanding pull-up bar um, and having parallel dip bars would be a nice bonus and uh, I read a lot of reviews online, and I found this one because it was affordable. It had good reviews, a lot of good reviews, positive reviews and ratings, and it was affordable. Uh, noticeably cheaper than most of the other stuff out there. Um, most freestanding pull-up bars that I found were in the two to three hundred dollar range, or more for the higher quality stuff. And I got this for less than a hundred bucks shipped, and uh, so it was kind of a no-brainer. Good ratings, cheap, and I had what I wanted, so. Um, I just picked it up and I've been very happy with it. I've been using it consistently for a year, had no real problems with it. Um, and so you can do a lot of things with this, you know, the exercises I mentioned before, but if you're creative, you can do other stuff. Um, the Hornet. Um, uh, like for instance, I've, uh, I've used the uh, dip bars for doing body weight rows, uh, like Australian pull-ups is another name for them. I just prop my feet up on something. So you can if you're creative, you can find other uses for this as well, but the reason you buy this is for the freestanding pull-up bar and dip bars. Don't buy it for the push-up bars or the, the sit-up uh, potential in this piece of equipment. Um, so with, with the bar, you can do all sorts of different uh, pull-up exercises. You can obviously do uh, regular pull-ups like so. You can do you know wide pull-ups if that's your thing. I don't normally do wide pull-ups. You can do chin-ups too. and all sorts of other grip combinations. You could do like an assisted pull-up if you wanted to. You could wrap things around the bar, towel or a rope, whatever, you know, just to uh, try different grip variations. I always recommend you use different grip variations to uh, not focus on just one specific area of the muscles or movement pattern. You want to train uh, a variety so that you kind of get more balanced strength and muscle development. Um, and you can do that with this. And one of the things that I didn't find out about it until I actually uh, assembled it was that you can do neutral grip pull-ups with it with your palms facing each other. I didn't know that. And it's because these support beams curve at the top here and the top part of them is parallel to the ground. So it's like a set of parallel bars. So you can do your neutral grip pull-ups. That's a great feature because it's a great pull-up variation that um, maximizes the strength, force, and muscle that you recruit in the pull-up exercise. A lot of people um, who have shoulder issues prefer it because it's just, it's just more biomechanically efficient. It's just everything lines up better. 
and you're stronger, you recruit more muscle, so it's a great it's a great little perk that I didn't know about until I bought it and, and assembled it. So I should probably show you uh, doing dips on it too, right? This is a product review after all. <clears throat> and the, the main thing with the dip bars is that they are fixed in space. So if you have really wide shoulders or really narrow shoulders, they might not fit you perfectly. Like these are about an inch or two wider than, you know, I would prefer for, you know, optimal uh, leverage and body positioning. Uh, but it's okay. It's like no big, no biggie. I still use it all the time. Um, but, you know, you should know that they're not adjustable. They're fixed in space. Um, so what else? Let's see. This thing is rated to 250 pounds. And uh, I, depending on how well fed I am and what season it is, I'm floating between 160 and 180. And I've had zero issues with this being, you know, flimsy, wobbly, shaky. Um, I don't, I don't think anything I do to it is going to really damage it. Um, and uh, I've trained with a buddy who's a lot closer to that 250 pound weight limit and same thing, no issues. It's not like I'm afraid it's going to, you know, break or anything. Um, so if you're under 250 pounds, it'll work for you. I think even if you were a little heavier, you probably could get away with it, but I uh, can't officially recommend that because there's liability, right? Um, so as far as wear and tear, there's been very little. Um, and again, it's been used consistently for a year. Some of the foam grips will need to be replaced eventually after a few years. Uh, there's a couple of these plastic um, caps on the top here that uh, one of them cracked and doesn't really concern me because they, uh, they're, not, um, they're not part of the structural component. They're, they don't support any of the weight. So it hasn't really affected um, at all uh, the, the safety of the equipment, as far as I know. I've been using it like that for a few months and it hasn't fallen apart on me. Um, so, so all in all, it's, uh, it's been a good piece of equipment. I'd probably rate it at four out of five stars. Um, and so I'd say, you know, if you're looking for a freestanding pull-up bar with uh, the dip bars as a bonus, and you're not looking to spend a ton of money, you know, you don't need a, an industrial grade commercial quality um, uh, power tower pull-up station, then this is a great option. And if you, if you invest in it and you actually use it, I don't think you'll regret spending that kind of money at all. I think you'll be happy you did. Um, the only real downside is it won't do the pull-ups for you. So, you know, got to take that in consideration too, right? Um, so I think that's about it. Um, if you have any questions about it, just please let me know. Happy to help. I'm John Sifferman from physicalliving.com. Take care.